Hey guys, the Dubs of a Gaming here. Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. Today we're going to be hopping out here in some BCSO. Gonna go and be out here in Grapeseed today. Gonna be doing a traffic unit. So we're gonna go and do some a couple uh, traffic crackdowns here in the area of uh, Grapeseed. So we'll just go and be going around a little bit here. Make sure everybody is completely following the law. I didn't want to hit that wolf there. You know, save the wolves. And uh, make sure everybody is following the law to the best that they can here um, in Graveseed. So our main focus for today again is traffic uh, unit. So we're going to go and be busting people for uh, any sort of traffic violation. If there's any calls in the area, of course, we can go and take that. But our main focus is traffic unit. So we're going to be 104118 active supervisor. We're going to go and actually just start out here with a stop sign. And uh, I think we'll uh, probably sit here on this little dirt road. And uh, kind of watch the stop sign there. Make sure everybody is going across it all right. And, uh, you know, start moving here. Uh, make sure everybody is going across and uh, stopping completely before they do go and go across. So we'll go and sit right here and uh, go and watch. But they're going to be out here in the Ford Taurus. This is a beautiful car um, that was released here a little bit ago um, within a couple other uh, vehicles in the pack. So does have an awesome light bar. It is based on a county in Florida. I don't remember which one it was, but uh, it, the texture definitely looks familiar. Um, but yeah, so very, very nice light bar. Kind of got a little setup here. Kind of goes in and out. And then you got some more back and forth and everything. There's a couple side runners, some lights here on the side. Beautiful Weston wraparound push bar. I love that push bar so much. And uh, yeah, so really, really awesome stuff here. We'll go and see what we got going on out here in uh, Grapeseed today. I want to munch with 10418, Act Supervisor. Vehicle didn't come to a complete stop there. The stop sign again. We are going to be doing a crackdown today, so no tolerance uh, whatsoever on the uh, traffic stop here. So, go and pull this guy on over. Alright, dude, relax. Come on over here a little bit more to the shoulder. See what he's got going on today. Dungery. Again, no tolerance policy whatsoever on uh, anything really today. This kind of is a weird handling line. Um, so that's why we're going to be stopping them. Didn't make a complete stop. Kind of weird in the back here. I guess some uh, the white lights aren't actually on the reverse lights. Eight, three, that's Nora, good. Frank, John McCrabbish, I think. Going to be uh, no flags on the vehicle. We'll go and uh, hop on out here. See what he's got going on today. Good to go. Should just be a warning, maybe a ticket. You know, again, we are going to be doing a crackdown, so. How's it going, sir? My name is, uh, uh, I guess you would be Officer if you're a traffic unit, but. Um, Officer Epic Gaming with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department Traffic Division. Today, going to be stopping you there for the, uh, stop sign violation back there. Didn't come to a full, complete stop at the stop sign. You need to go and do that. You did start to stop, and you went very slow, but you didn't stop completely. So, we're going to be doing a little crackdown back there today, so make sure you are doing that. Good idea to prove insurance. Got anything illegal in the vehicle or anything? Of course not. All right, Mr. Mick Travish, I'll be right back with you. Mick Travish, I don't know what that's all about. All right, we'll go and see what uh, Mr. Mick Travish is doing out here today. Hopefully, he's all good to go and uh, we'll be able to get him on his way, but you never, never know. All right, so he is good to go on there. And he is also good to go on there. Beautiful. Uh, again, no tolerance policy here today. Just doing a full-on crackdown as many stops as we can today. So we will go and be doing a uh, citation there for rolling the stop sign. And uh, hopefully they will learn their lesson. All right, sir. So here's all the information back today. We'll be receiving a citation for uh, failure to stop at the stop sign back there. Again, um, doing a crackdown over there today. So you do need to go ahead and uh, make sure you are stopping there completely, okay? It'll be a two uh, point on your license as well as a hundred fifty dollar citation. Go and sign there in the uh, red box down there so that amended guilt promise to appear. Time and place this is below. Go and sign there for me. Alrighty, thank you very much. Here is your copy on the back there. Getting some more court information, all that, and you'll be uh, good to go. Okay. Alrighty, sir. Make sure you are stopping at those stop signs. I'll finish writing out my uh, ticket here, and you'll be good to go. But, uh, yeah, this is really what we're going to be doing all day here. Just as many stops as we can. And, uh, we'll be good to go. So, first one down. Have a good day. Don't really have a quota or anything. But, uh, just want to get as many as we can to, uh, let everybody know again. 
they do need to go and be stopping at the stop sign. So we'll go and be uh, code four off of that back today. Got another vehicle here just rolled the stop sign again. Same kind of thing as the uh, gun tree did last time. Go and get him pulled over. Same spot. Oh, turn off the lights. Didn't want to do that. Alrighty. Go and stop the vehicle right there. Perfecto mundo. Alright, next one here. It's going to go and be a uh, ingot. Uh, 84 Lima. John Lima 132. Target license plate. Eight, four, back to Lincoln, a cat John, Liam's, Lincoln, one, three, I think. Two, no, 1099. No 1099 on that. Go and see what this guy is up to today. Again, same ordeal. Alrighty. I kind of like this uh, kind of style. A little bit more relaxed and everything. How's it going, sir? My name is Officer Evan Gaiman with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. The reason I'm stopping you today is because you didn't fully stop at the stop sign back there. Doing a little traffic crack down here today. So make sure you are fully stopping at those stop signs. You got identification proof insurance on you. All right, Mr. Liam, sorry, or Mrs. Liam, sorry, I'll be right back with you. Nothing legal. All righty, go and sit tight for me, okay? All right. Go and make sure they are good to go here in the system. And uh, if they are, which hopefully they will, we'll let them off with a uh, citation again for around the stop sign. After this, we'll go and move to a different intersection and uh, do the same thing here. All right, she is good to go on there. The uh, vehicle is also good to go. Perfect. All right. Um... But, you know, if they do have anything wrong with the with them or the vehicle, then that's going to be a little bit of a bigger issue as well. So, hopefully, just keep hoping for that and nobody will. All right, ma'am. Going to go re receive a citation today for the... I don't know why it's automatically... Oh, that's weird. Uh, receive a citation today for the uh, rolling the stop sign back there. Okay, again, like I said, doing a traffic track down here today. So, we'll be $150 citation as well as two points on your license. Uh, so make sure you are, again, completely fully stopping at those stop signs, all right? All right, if you want to go and sign here, this red box down there, so that admitting guilty promise to appear at time and place listed below. On the back, more information for you about how to, what to do with the citation, I mean. Um, if you're going to go and pay it or show up in court, information about all that. And, uh, if you have any questions for me, let me know now. Other than that, sign there. There's your copy. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day, ma'am, all right? Make sure you stop at the stop signs. Oh, fuck. Yep, okay. Have a great day. Alrighty, good to go on that there. She's uh, going head off and uh, we'll be back 10 for 1 tonight. That uh, mammoth patriot there really did cut over that line. I don't think he used a turn signal either. Um, but he made that corner very, very sharp. That's a little bit of an issue. Uh, but he did cross over the double yellow line there and there was somebody else coming. So if there really wasn't, that wouldn't be a major issue. But since there was, that's kind of a problem. But... Um, go and get a plate check on him real quick here. Oh, alright, he's gonna get stopped. See, as simple as that, simple as making your turn wrong can lead to that kind of stuff here. Take another turn. Did use the turn signal this time. Alright, we're gonna go and stop him here. So we get this vehicle stopped. They do have uh, no registration and a bench warrant for the registered owner, possibly. So this one will be a uh, good stop if it turns out this is who um, it should be driving the vehicle. Alrighty, one on one, 1011 here in North Union. Uh, gonna be on a Black Mammoth Patriot, no third two. Go and hop on out here, see what we got going on with this guy. Alrighty. How's it going, sir? The reason I'm stopping today is a couple reasons. Actually, didn't use your turn signal all the way back there on uh, Main Street, Grapeseed there. I'm sorry, Seaview, actually, turning onto the uh, uh, road we were just on down there. I'm not sure what, which one that was. We were just on uh, under the freeway, but also you did cross over the double yellow line. You kind of went the other lane there whenever you were merging on over. So you got to make sure you're staying in your lanes whenever you're making those uh, turns. Doing traffic crackdown out here today. Want to go get your identification with insurance? I'll be right back with you, all right? Mr. Malt, anything legal vehicle? Nope. All right, go to the type form. Be right back. Alrighty, go see what uh Mr. Jimmy Malt has on his record. See if he's the one with the bench warrant, as well as if the vehicle is uh, insured or registered. Uh, we'll go and see here. So Jimmy Malt is good to go. Been stopped four times before. No warrants or anything. And the uh, vehicle here has got an expired license. I'm sorry, expired insurance and registration. So. Shouldn't be driving the vehicle. 
Um, if it was just one, I could have worked with it, but if it's both, then that just means he's really not paying his stuff, or he completely forgot. So, I mean, how old is he? Let's just see. He is a, uh, 73. Yeah, he should know better, too. <laughs> like, come on. So, he's gonna go and get a citation for all three of those items, since we are doing a full-on crackdown today. As well as, uh, gonna be taking the vehicle from him, since he shouldn't be driving anyways. I'm not sure who the registered owner is. But they do have a bench warrant, I believe. Or uh, what dispatch said, at least. So I'm going to go and double check that real quick. And uh, we'll just go and confirm here. Target vehicle license plate. Zero Claudia. Nine, William Paul Adam 629. Right. A traffic violation. A traffic violation. We'll go and let him know. A warrant but. issued. Alrighty, sir. So, uh, registered owner of the vehicle, maybe your wife, sister, friend, I don't know, whoever, uh, does actually have a warrant out for their arrest, so I would go and let them know of that and have them come down to the police station and go and take care of that. Um, but the vehicle here is not registered, not insured. It doesn't matter if it's your vehicle or not. If you are in possession of it and if you are driving it, you are responsible for it. Um, not meaning that you need to pay all this stuff, but you shouldn't be driving the vehicle. Um, neither should she or neither should anybody. So I'm gonna have to take the vehicle. Uh, I'll call you a taxi since it's not your car. Um, but it is going to be an issue there. So again, just let her know um, that she needs to get that taken care of. But I will go and call you a taxi and everything. But you will be getting you will be getting a citation personally for a uh, um, for running the stop sign or not running the stop sign. I'm sorry. Um, we're crossing over the line there. I think we'll just put it down as careless driving. As well as, uh, she is going to go and get cited down for the expired or invalid registration. As well as the invalid insurance there. Alrighty. So, will not be 10 points on your license. It's just the ticket and everything there. Um, so, kind of it will be split up. But I'm just going to do this here for the system. But that is what she'll be getting, those two things. Um, I don't I don't know if you knew about this or whatever, but I'm not going to cite you with those. But I will be citing you for the careless driving, okay? So if you want to go and hop on out here after you sign these, uh, this citation, these other two will go and get mailed to her. I'm just going to write it out here right now so it's a little bit easier for uh, me. And then I'll have you step out of the vehicle, go and get it towed, and I'll get you a taxi, all right? All righty. So... I already got a tow truck. You want a taxi, man? I can go and call you one real quick. I'd rather you do that than sit on walk on the freeway. All right, come here. Hey, Guess come here, buddy. Yeah, okay, great. Go and sit tight right there, okay? I'll get you a taxi down here. So, those people are racing. Uh, I'll get you a taxi down here, so here you go. So, let her know those two things, and uh, let them know if she'll be getting a citation in the mail as well as come down to the police station. Alrighty, good to go. So that was a good, uh, that was a good stop. Got the vehicle off the road, and, uh, she does have a warrant, so hopefully whenever she comes down to get her citations and everything, we can go and get her for the warrant as well. Does sound like a bench warrant, so, uh, we'll possibly have to visit her at her house, warrant service as well, and, uh, they can go from there with it, but out of my control for now is really what I got going on here is, uh, that, so there you go. We'll go and be, uh, back out on the streets now, uh, code 4, Teddy. Vehicle in front here just completely blew the uh, stop sign there. Okay. Hello, dude. So did you, and you don't have a helmet or a plate. Well, this guy we're going to go and stop instead. He's lane splitting as well, which uh, is all right, but get this guy out of the way here. Don't get this guy stopped. Come on, dude. You going to stop or what? There he is. Alright. Okay, dude, relax. Now he puts the helmet on. Alright, go and pull over the side of the road to the right. Hey! Dude, what are you doing, man? Come on, now. Dude. Oh my god, there is a Bambi! Alright, go and stop right there, dude. Alright, one out of one, gonna be on 1011 down here, South Main Street in Graveseed. Gotta be a, uh, bike, gonna be no helmet, no plate, as well as, a uh, stop sign violation. So, not good for this guy right now. Okay, see what he's got going on. What are you doing, man? You had no helmet on back there, bike doesn't have a plate, and, uh, you also ran the stop sign back there, so, not good. 
You got a Diani proof insurance stuff for the bike and all that, man. Eddie Rodriguez, okay. Where was your helmet? Why the hell do you care? Well, I care about your safety. Kind of my job to uh, do that, actually. Nothing legal on the bike. All right. You want to sit tight for me? You're rear pack. All righty. We'll go in to see what he's got going on, but... Shouldn't be doing that, man. Yeah. <laughs> Lane splitting. I think he was speeding as well, but he's doing all this. No helmet. No plate. Not good, dude. He's got expired insurance, too, so not good. All right, well, he's going to be getting a number of citations. I'm also going to take the bike because he clearly can't ride it properly without a helmet and he doesn't have a plate on it, so I shouldn't be able to trust him leaving here with the bike. So that is uh, it's going to have to happen. going to have to take it from him. But what are you going to do? All righty, sir. So uh, here's all the information back. You do have expired insurance on the bike. Not sure if you knew about that, but we are doing a traffic crackdown here. There is no... Uh, no tolerance for any sort of uh, violation. So today we'll be going down for uh, driving with the expired insurance, as well as running the stop sign, and uh, also the helmet violation. If I can find that in here, no helmet, and then the insurance is also in here. I think insurance, insurance, insurance. Where's the insurance? I think I just passed it up here. Yep expired insurance so you also don't have a plate on the bike so it is an unroadworthy vehicle which i will have to go and take the uh bike from you um again just because we're doing the traffic crack down here i don't think that's in here it should be but um unroadworthy vehicle traffic i don't know where it would be under here all right, well, you're just going to go and get that stuff here today. I will be taking the bike as well. Again, like I said, just to, uh, since you don't have a plate on it, you weren't wearing your helmet, you've really given me no reason to trust you to be able to ride the bike properly here and take it home. Got a pink helmet too, so I guess that might be not, might be the reason why you didn't want to wear it, but you still, you know, you still need to wear it no matter what the uh, circumstances are, so... You want to go and hop off the bike here after you sign here in the red box so that many guild promise to appear. Time place is below. You can go and step off the uh, bike here and we'll go and get it towed, okay? Alright, you are free to go, sir. Don't walk in traffic. Alright. Go and wait for the tow truck here and uh, we'll be good to go back out on the streets. I think we'll do one more stop and call it an episode on there. Um, but enjoying the traffic crackdown, a little bit of a different pace. You know, not taking any calls or anything, but... Um, yeah, so good to go. Getting some stuff off the street. We are good to go. Back to now. This individual here just rolled the stop sign, and we'll go and stop him. Classic maneuver. Go we'll and get him stopped again. Same reason as everybody else, pretty much today. It's always revolving around a stop sign violation, but that's uh, really what we're working on here: getting people to uh, really obey those stop signs, especially whenever you have a sign and it's written on the ground. You really have no excuse for not being able to miss or not being able to see it or stop or whatever. So that's just kind of a uh, kind of baloney, but whatever. Two, nine, Got Burks, David, no flags, Charles, no citations. Four, three, first five, time stop, no, 10, not necessarily, but uh, first time getting a citation today because he will. Like I said, traffic crackdown. How's it going, sir? Name is Epic Gaming with the uh, Los Angeles, or no, 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 uh, Blaine County Sheriff's Department. The reason stop here today is because uh, stop sign violation back there on, uh, what road is this? I don't even know. The road's down here, but um, right there, whenever you turned on here on the sea view, I uh, didn't stop completely at the stop sign, just rolled it, so need to go and get your identification proof insurance. Going to be doing a traffic crackdown out here today. All right, Mr. Burks, anything legal in the vehicle that you know of? All right, go and sit tight for me. Be right back. All righty. We'll go and see what uh, Johnny Burke has got here on uh, his record. Hopefully he's good to go. And uh, we'll just receive a citation and be on his way. But All right. All good to go on that. Plate is also coming back clean. Good to go. Awesome, awesome. All right. So we'll go and uh, hop on out here after this guy. And uh, we'll go and give him a citation. Nice proactive policing up in here today, kind of changing up the pace a little bit. Not all calls and running around code three, you know. All right, here's your information back, sir. So we will be going receiving a citation today for the stop sign violation. Again, doing traffic crackdown here today. 
So I'm going to give you this here today now. What I'm going to go and have you do, just a citation here will be $150 citation. Two points under license will be moving violation. Um, I will need you to go and sign here in this red box. I don't have any guilty promise to appear at time and place. This is below. Uh, if you have any problems trying to make this time of date, feel free to call that number down there. If you uh, have any questions or anything, also call that number there. On the back of your citation here, you do have information about what to do, paying, and uh, going fighting to get in court if you choose to do that. Also, again, your court date and everything like that in there. So here you go, sign there. All right, make sure you stop stop signs. All right, good to go on that. We are going to go and be uh, code four here and uh, 10 7 10 42. It's going to go and wrap up the episode here, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more. Till the next one, guys. Peace out.